Hi again, YouTubers. So it is that time of month for favorites, regrets, empties, and a little bit of jewelry. So I'm going to start right in because I have a lot of empties this month. I'm not going to lie. First thing that I am really just enjoying, I don't think I would go without, like, I think this is the perfect gift. Like, if you don't have this and you are a makeup person, you have to purchase this. And this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I did purchase this before. I did go back and check and I wasn't wowed by it and I don't know why. So if you're like me and you tried it once and you were like, oh no, not me, go back, give it a try. It's the shadows that I have on today. Sorry, my eyes are red. My allergies have been killing me. Um, this is just a beautiful palette with so many shadows to it, all of them matte. You can do so many different looks with it. It is just absolutely amazing. I have on today this one on my lid, this one on my in my crease, this one on my brow bone, where'd it go? This one on my bottom lash line, and this one as my eyeliner. I have not been using eyeliner, I've been using these. Absolutely loving that. I will keep going with things that I have on my face. Uh, the next thing I've been enjoying, you do have to work with it, and I will do a full review slash comparison to the other one I have, is the Unique 3D Moon Mood Struck Mascara. It is a mascara with a fiber, and again, my lashes, my eyes are super red, sorry, but my lashes have been looking good. In that same manner of eyelashes and things like that is I purchased this on a whim, it's expensive, but I am so glad I did. This is the Surratt Eyelash Curler. I never thought that there was a difference between an eyelash curler. This one opens so wide and its curve is a nice curve without being too bent or too straight and you can get all of your eyelashes in here and get so close to the lash line. I absolutely, this is so worth the money. I never thought I would say that. Never in a million years. Absolutely loving that. Next thing I'm really enjoying, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder Foundation in 5.5. This is what the packaging looks like. It's kind of neat and different. Um, you open it up and the powder is on the top and on the bottom is a sponge that has two different sides, wet and dry. I have been using this dry to set. It is what I have on right now. And I think it's gorgeous. Like I absolutely really am loving it. I don't know why I move my hair to show you my face. The last thing that I am loving as far as makeup is another palette. It's the Viseart. I believe I'm saying that correctly. Um, professional preview palette, uh, makeup palette, matte eyeshadow palette in 01 neutral matte. Now I will say you do not need, I don't know why I need to open this. You can see the colors. You do not need both of these palettes, this one and the Kat Von D. They are very, very, very similar. Uh, this one, I believe, is a little bit more expensive. I'm never percent sure which one's bigger, but this one is definitely more expensive. I believe this one is, I'll put the, I'll put the links below. Lee, I don't remember, 100%. This one is definitely less expensive than this one. So that would have to be your call. On to regrets. I'm going to tell you about the regrets because the regrets have already been sent back. A couple things that I regretted was first the OCC lip tar in the one that is the doe foot applicator, not the one that comes in the squeeze tube. These I actually like. The new one in the doe foot applicator that looks like a lip gloss. Didn't like it. Not a fan. Even tried putting it on a mirror first. Just didn't like it. It was really cakey. Um, wasn't a fan. So note to that. Um, next thing that was a regret that went back was the Guerlain Maxi Shine Lip Gloss. Just wasn't a fan of that. So that went back. On to empties. Empties, um, I have two of the same thing. It is the Shiseido Sun Protection UV Powder Foundation in Medium Ochre. I have two of them. I forgot to show this one last month, and then I have this one for this month. Um, I use this every single day, and I absolutely love it. Uh, so it is definitely well worth it. Sorry, that one has a little bit left in it, and I don't want it going away. Um, I used up my Colleen Rothschild, what is this called? Um, cleansing, Radiant Cleansing Balm. This bad boy is empty. I have already started my other one, and moving well through it. <laughs> I've also heard that the Pond's cleansing cream is good and Clinique has a cleansing balm. I don't know. 
uh, the Rodenfields Redefined Night Renewing Serum. These were little capsules. Um, I've used all of them up. I'm already on to my next one of that as well. Skincare is a little hard because you kind of go right onto it. Um, the Rodenfields Reverse Line, the uh, Dual Active Brightening Complex in Retinol and Vitamin C Formulas. I've used every bit of these up. You can tell I've squeezed everything out I can get. <laughs> so those are empty. I do have a review coming up on that. If it hasn't already posted, I've taped it, but I have to. Ed I still have to edit it. Um, next thing, Maybelline Age Rewind uh, Eraser Dark Circle Treatment and the Brightener. I went to talk about this for something and realized that this one was empty. I couldn't get anything else out of it. So that is empty. This is unfortunate. The I bought this last year with the Sephora VIB sale. The Hollywood California Glam Glow Youth Mud Tingling Exfoliating Treatment Mask. It dried up. Boo. My other ones are fine. I bought them all at the same time. This one just dried up. I don't know. Maybe I didn't close it enough. Benefit Gimme Brow. I use this pretty much every day. This one has, this is the lighter of the two colors and this one is emptied out and dry. This I use every single day. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation 5.5. I actually went as far with this one is I have left it sitting on my vanity upside down for the last couple of days um, and I have used it consistently this way. I've stuck brushes in there to try and get everything out. There is not a drop of this stuff left in here. <laughs> I used every bit of it. Love that. Last empty is Victoria's Secret Love Addict um, Ultra Moisturizing Hand and Body Cream. Use this one up. Let me, it smelled nice. I don't know if I'd repurchase that one, but I used it up. Um, on to jewelry. First thing, absolutely love this thing. It's the Twilight. This is wearing it backwards with the black stones showing out. I absolutely love this thing. So easy, not expensive, gorgeous, love it two bracelets that I have on today in both colors. This is called the Wishing Bracelet. It is only $19. It is the perfect little like holiday gift for someone. And it comes in the cutest packaging. They are so lightweight. They are so fine. They are just so easy to wear. Absolutely love them. Um, I've been on, uh, well I'll show you in the next. This is limited edition. When these are gone, it is gone, but I can't help but tell you about it. I've worn it so much and I love it. And actually you see that dress hanging back there? I'm gonna wear it for a wedding with that. Oh, it's called the Raven and it's ridiculously priced, but it's just so beautiful. I had to show you guys again. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Like it's one of those collector pieces. It's just amazing. Next thing I want to show you is a necklace. Again, very similar to the wishing bracelet. This comes in yellow, gold, and in silver, and it is called the Aurora. And it is the simplest, prettiest layering piece it has pave crystals on one side and the other side is just a solid one. You can reverse it, you can flip it. It also has the three different sized links so you can wear it at three different lengths depending on how you wanna layer it. Super inexpensive and beautiful. I believe this one was 29. I'll have to look and see, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Loving it. The last two things I wanted to tell you about are bracelets. I've been on a big bracelet kick, which is funny because in the winter I don't wear as many with long sleeves. But these two are both, they have stones in them. They're absolutely gorgeous. This one is the Diamante Cuff Bracelet. It has the black stones in it and it is a open cuff. It is so simple and easy to throw on and just gets so many compliments. And then this one is the Inspire Bracelet in the Pave Crystal, I believe it's called, but it's the crystal inspire maybe or no sparkle inspire bracelet and again this one is a full circle bangle but it is just gorgeous and really catches the light and it's absolutely beautiful on one last thing for the jewelry that i almost forgot to tell you guys about is this this is called the slim poof and i did not think i was going to be wowed by this this thing is absolutely perfect for makeup brushes if you are traveling and you need to put in i just cleaned all mine like it is just perfect and has so much space. That's three big brushes in there and I still have a ton of space. And this is so inexpensive. I absolutely love this. It is just so cute. It also comes in white with like a rose gold to it and it is just awesome. So that is everything for my favorites for the month. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions and what I am wearing, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation 5.5, Tarte CC Corrector Under the Eyes, um, Giorgio Armani Luminous Powder, 
Dior Star Concealer with MAC Mineralized Skin Finish to set under the eyes. Um, Hourglass Bronzer, MAC Dainty. On my eyes, the Kat Von D palette that I told you about. Anastasia Brow Wiz and the Benefit Give Me Brow today, both of them. The Unique Mascara. Um, on my lips is Makeup Forever 2C. Um, Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy and Vague Obsession. And shirt is an old one from Target. It's just got these little ruffles. It's cute. Um, I showed you the Twilight. I showed you my Wishing Bracelets. The, oh, I also have on the Pave, uh, Chris, the Pave Sphinx. Uh, ring on this one. I have my David German here and that is everything as always. Thank you so much for watching Please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever and uh, have a great day guys. Bye